What's up, everybody? I'm coming to you today because I want to give you five easy tips on how to spot a shady contractor. And we're going to do that right now. Number one, check their license. Most companies out there are not licensed to do the work that they say they're going to do. Always check their license. Every state has a Department of Regulations and Occupation uh, here in Virginia. We have one. It's called DPOR. You can go to that website. You can type that business name in there and see if they're licensed. You can also see if there's anything that's been, you know, have any bad mocks against the company. That's number one. Always check their license. If they're not licensed in the state of Virginia, it's actually a bad thing. So there are a lot of guys out there doing side work and side jobs that are doing this only to make a quick buck. They're not doing the quality of install or work that you need. So if somebody comes up to you and says, hey, I do that on the side, that should be a red flag to you. That means that that contractor either doesn't have or says he's a contractor and he's not because he works for somebody else or he's doing it on the side with no license and no insurance. Okay, rule number two, always check insurance. Leads me into that one. Why is it important for a contractor to have insurance? A lot of reasons. The first reason is, what if something was to break on the job site? What if they broke a window? What if they broke, they dropped something? What if they fell? Insurance, that company or that contractor needs to have liability insurance, and carry workman's compensation insurance. Look, disasters happen. It's even happened to us. I mean, a guy, you know, accidentally fell through a ceiling. He's okay, he's all right, no, nothing to worry about. But that happens. You're walking on a thin platform in an attic, and you slip, and you fall through the ceiling. Well, guess what? As a contractor, I have to have insurance on that. I also have to have workman's compensation to make sure that, that if that employee got hurt, that that insurance covers them. So always check their insurance because you never know when something could happen. A guy could be on a ladder on the outside of your house, he's putting a window in, and whammo, he slips off the ladder and falls right in your front yard and breaks his leg. If he doesn't have insurance, do you know he can sue you? Yes, he can. He can sue you, and you would be liable for that. Don't let that happen to you. Always check insurance on a company. It's very, very important. The third one I want to talk about is the reputation of the company. How long has the company been around? You know, what are people saying about that company? Have you seen their trucks in, in the community? What do their trucks look like? Are they uniform? Do they have their logo on there? Their reputation means everything when it comes to business. If they have a very bad reputation of either not doing the job right or cutting corners or not satisfying customers, then it's probably not a company you want to deal with. Reputation means everything. It goes to integrity about that company. So always check the reputation of that company. The fourth one I want to talk about here is referrals. Ask the company for customers that they have dealt with in the, in the past for referrals. A company should be able to give you three legitimate referrals that you can contact on behalf of that company to see how they've done. And if they've done good work, you know, that's fine. You'll get some feedback from their customers. You may even find out, well, yeah, they were sloppy and they did this and they did that, or I wasn't happy with this, or, you know, look, nobody's perfect. You have to keep an open mind about it. But the fact of the matter is referrals are actually tremendously important when deciding which contractor you want to go with. Referrals builds trust. If other people have trusted this contractor, then that gives you a better understanding of trusting them too. And then my last one is online reviews. Always check online reviews because, and, and look, I'm not saying that that's the set all standard across the board, but what I am saying is 
you will get to see what people are thinking about this company. Are they giving a five-star rating? Are they giving a two-star rating? Are they answering, is the company answering negative reviews? Look, nobody can be perfect. I'm not perfect. You know, we all know that nobody's perfect in this world. We all make mistakes. Did the company own up to the mistake and correct it? And did they answer that review properly? Because if they didn't, then maybe that company doesn't have the integrity that they say they did. Or if they answered it in a negative or demeaning manner, uh, then you know what? It's That's probably not the company you want to deal with. So the other, I'll give you one extra tip. If a company or a contractor comes up to you and asks you for a deposit, watch out. Watch out, because most of the time, a reputable company, everything I just talked about, a reputable company will not ask for an upfront deposit. If they're selling you something and they want you to sign a contract and ask for a deposit, and you're not ready to make that decision, that's to lock you into something that you shouldn't be locked into. Because a contract is a binding legal document. Don't sign anything until you know that you're comfortable with that contractor. When it comes down to signing that contract, there shouldn't be any money exchanged. Now, I will say this, on bigger projects, I'm not going to knock the bigger project contractors, the ones that are doing additions, new home buildings, they have to take a draw. But taking a draw from something like that is different. If you got a plumber and it's going to cost you $1,000, to fix your plumbing issue and he asked you for a deposit stay clear from him if you got a HBC guy that says hey we're gonna put a new unit in for you but you have to give us a two thousand dollar deposit stay away from them get away that's telling you that that company is not stable enough to pay for the own equipment up front and that's a red flag so stay Stand clear when you hear stuff like that. St stand clear. I do want to share with you, though, I'm going to give you a bonus in this video. If you watch this video through towards the end, I'm going to give you a bonus. And that bonus is, I am going to trade, I'm going to let you, I'll let you in on it. My book is right here. Oh. My book is right here. It's heating and cooling secrets that your contractor doesn't want you to know. I go into detail of some of the tricks that they contractors in my industry use to try and scam customers. Don't fall for that. I'm going to give you this book. Where are we going here? Which way? This way. I can't figure it out. It's supposed to be backwards. I guess it's this way. Yeah, I'm in a camera, it's backwards. <laughs> Goofy. But anyways, I want to give you that book for free. Okay? You watch to the end of this video. I'm going to give you that book for free. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can go and get it for free. I want you to read that. It's a really good read. I, I wrote this book because I was tired, sick and tired of contractors using scams on customers to try to bait and switch them or try to buy them something they don't need. I go into detail. I don't really care if my competition hates me or not. I published a book. That's it right there. I'm going to give it to you for free. Follow the link in the description. You'll get my book for free. Okay? That's for me to you. I don't want anybody to take advantage of any homeowner, any customer, anybody. That's why I wrote the book. I'm so angry that companies in my industry just I mean I know it goes on in all industries but just in my industries the things that they do I've worked for companies they wanted me to do unethical things to sell the customers no that is not what it's about what it's about is educating the customer on what they need not what the company wants Companies are based on sales. I got it. I understand that. It's all good. Get my book. 
I'm going to give it to you for free. Follow the link in the description. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed it writing it. Those are my five easy tips with a little bonus right there. Go get the free ebook. You can download it right to your PC. Let me know how it works out for you. This book actually has a, it, it goes for all different kinds of contractors, but mostly in the HVAC industry. Okay? Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.